when I first got into real estate, I called three people. I called Clue. Mm -hmm. I called Fabulous. Mm -hmm. I called Joe Button. And I said, hey, guys, I'm doing real estate. This is something that I think that, you know, you should invest a little bit of money in, try it out, and that way you can do it. Joe Button told me it was a Ponzi scheme and I was going to go to jail. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this video that I came across on YouTube. And guess what the video is titled? The video is titled Caesar Pena Arrested by the FBI with the assistance of DJ Envy. Ooh, let's play it. Let's play it. Let's play it. Fair use. Fair use. We're back now with an iTeam exclusive. Less than a week after we broke the story of investors who say they were scammed in a real estate venture promoted by radio host DJ Envy, there was a major development. DJ Envy's longtime business partner has been arrested by federal agents in New Jersey. Cesar Pena has been charged with fraud. Investigative reporter Sarah Wallace has been all over the story. She has the latest from federal court in Newark. <laughs> arrested by the feds this morning on a charge of wire fraud and brought here to the federal courthouse in Newark. They say this may be just the beginning. He could face additional charges of money laundering. You might know him on Instagram as Flippin' NJ, my friend Cesar Pena. DJ Envy often had his pal Cesar Pena on the radio host's The Breakfast Club Show. Started with no money and here I am. $50 million later in real estate. Promoting their real estate partnership. Now, in this federal complaint, the government says Pena engaged in a Ponzi-like scheme involving investors, adding Pena defrauded dozens of victims of millions of dollars. We interviewed many of them. I lost $200,000. $835,000 in total. I lost a total of $64,000. I lost a million dollars. Envy, whose real name is Rashawn Casey, was not charged. But many of the alleged victims say they were influenced by his celebrity. He's advertising this all over the radio and on television. Investors say Pena promised he would rehab and flip distressed properties, many in Patterson, giving a 30% profit within months. Dozens have now filed lawsuits saying they never got any of their investment back. Pena is accused of pocketing $17 million Ooh. from just four properties. As news broke of his arrest... <laughs> We were interviewing Jeff Robinson, who owns a food truck and car wash in Patterson. My son, this is my world. And these people took advantage. His son, Jeff Jr., tragically died in a car accident six months ago, leaving two children behind. Jeff Jr. had invested $325,000 with Pena in this Paseo property. The dad says Pena then went dark. On that day, I buried my son. I called Caesar. I'm gonna meet you. I have text correspondence with Caesar, text messages. Oh, I'm, I'm running a little behind. You never met me here. But my main concern is getting what you do to those children. It's not fair. The comfort would be when my grandkids are in position when they have trust accounts with that money that he owes those children. Pena pleaded not guilty. He has to post a $1 million bond and is being released on electronic monitoring. He cannot leave the state of New Jersey. No comment from DJ Envy. An inside source tells us that the iHeartRadio offices were visited by the feds who took out electronic equipment as part of this investigation. From New York, Sarah Wallace, News 4 New York. So, let, let me start by saying this. First and foremost, there is, I, I feel bad for the brother. I feel bad for everybody lost their money. But I really feel bad for the brother whose son invested $325,000 and then was in a car accident before he could get his money back. Now, why anybody would give one person $325,000 I have absolutely no idea because I can tell you right now, if I gave you $30,000 and you couldn't tell me where my money was at, I'm going to pull a DeShane Hill on you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's not even going to be a game. Like, you, do you know how hard it is to, to freaking accumulate $325,000? Liquid? But... To get back to the original point, you heard what they said at the end of it, right? Now, I said that the moment they get envy, 
in that federal building, in that room, he going to sing like Mariah Carey. But the reality is, he didn't even have to go to the building. The Fed showed up to iHeart Studios where they filmed The Breakfast Club, and next thing you know, Caesar's arrested. You know what that means? That means Envy was singing at the radio station. He was doo-wopping and bebopping. You feel what I'm saying? And they confiscated electronic devices. So, to all of those naysayers that were saying that Envy ain't had nothing to do with it, <laughs> for his sake, I hope he didn't. They're going to go through those electronic devices with a fine-tooth comb. You feel me? I'm talking about they going to get surgical. You understand what I'm saying? So, from what I understand, it's still an ongoing investigation. You feel what I'm saying? Only thing that might help, that might help, is if your boy Caesar says that he was doing everything himself and nobody else had any knowledge of what he was doing. But <laughs> if you really want to be honest, that might not be enough for the feds. That might not be enough for the feds. They might be like, nah, bruh, everybody involved in this is going down. And y'all know how the feds do. They're not coming to pick nobody up until they ready to start prosecuting. You feel what I'm saying? And you know how they do. If, if they picking people up, if they're investigating, they're picking people up, bruh. Now, what would be interesting to me and what I can't figure out, I can't figure out why our heart radio hasn't started distancing itself from DJ Envy. That's what I can't figure out. If, if I were a betting man, I would bet that as time moves forward, if it looks like he's going to be involved in that uh, uh, prosecution, he might mess around and get fired. <laughs> the Breakfast Club might end up being just Charlemagne's show, if, if you really want to be honest. Because a lot of those people that are suing uh, Caesar and DJ Envy, you know, the lawyers are saying that they could possibly have grounds for a lawsuit against iHeartRadio because... DJ Envy was promoting that business on the radio show. The proof is right there. They showed the proof at the beginning of the news story. Like he was promoting it on his radio show. So that means that iHeartRadio is just as liable as DJ Envy. Because he, you know, I would imagine for him to be promoting something on that radio show, he got to clear it with them. So... I would guess that he would have to give that radio show assurances that he's promoting a legitimate business because otherwise it opens them up to lawsuit and litigation. But we're going to see how it's going to play out. Trust and believe.